Home is a holy place because relationships within the family reflect God's relationship with us. We love because God first loved us. If we say we love God but hate our brothers and sisters, we are liars. For people cannot love God whom they have not seen if they do not love their brothers and sisters whom they have seen. Where is love? Life-giving love flourishes in healthy marital, parental, family relationships. These can be messy, of course, we don't deny that. But they are the ties that bind us together. And that is where our God is to be found, in the heart of family love and in the heart of family connectedness or communion. During Listening 2004, we heard that togetherness is something that families are really committed to. In fact, they valued email, mobile phones and the internet because these all help families to stay in touch. Even so, staying connected with one another, building communion, being together can be one of our biggest challenges as family. What are the challenges that you experience in your family relationships? As a working mum, fitting it all in, I find it really, really difficult. The feeling that um, you're never doing anything as well as you could do and you're always, you're trying to do everything, keep all the plates in the air, you know, the, sort of, sort of the circus, and that you're never actually doing every, anything to your own satisfaction. Um, I mean, I, I know I, I couldn't be without this man there. Ow. I remember before I had him, I'd spend an awful lot more time devoted to work perhaps than I do now and marking. And perhaps I was a bit obsessive about it, I don't mm. know. Um, and I think I'm a better person for having that balance and I know I'm doing what I was meant to do. Oh, yeah. But um, I just, you sometimes feel a bit like you can be a failure at everything, you know, just trying, mm. to, trying to do it all and do none of it as well as you want to. Now that's hard, that's hard. Yeah. In spite of the fact that I've got a loving birth family and I've got my extended family. Um, at times I'm lonely and that's tough, that's all. I think we're quite tight-knit. Um, there's obviously lots of rough and tumble and plenty of fighting and conflict and at times it's a bit like the United Nations seeing all the, uh, the fights going on sometimes simultaneously. I think realising that everyone is different and everyone has different needs and like one formula doesn't work for everybody and I think that's sometimes very difficult when I might miss the moment to you know that child needs me at that moment to watch what they're doing or whatever um, or that they need a different way not to say come on now's your time I need to wait for the moment that they it spontaneously comes and that I think is quite difficult um, but very satisfying when I think I've got it right. We may not readily equate the presence of God with the rough and tumble that is family life, but in truth, home and family are holy ground. It's here that hopefully first messages are conveyed concerning who we are, our value and our worth. It's here that the foundations of trust are securely laid, when love is experienced as a gift and not reward. It's here that failure is met with forgiveness, and self-doubt with reassurance. And it's here that parents first introduce us to the God from whose hands we come, in whose image and likeness we're fashioned, and with whom lies our destiny. Home and family are indeed holy ground, where God is at work, working through us. The great joys of life, especially in a family, bring us together. It's the knocks, the disappointments, the tragedies of life that leave us stunned and shaken, the facade of our respectability seriously dented. Yet these cracks and gaping holes in the fabric of our lives are precisely the spaces through which the light and love of God can enter. Uh, what's tough about family is all of it. All of it's tough. No, family is not easy. And that's something that what everyone has got to realise that there's, there's demands and that, that are made on each other sometimes that are almost impossible to fulfil. I was brought up as a Catholic, but I'll be very honest with you, I've never delved into to the Catholic thing. 
Um, I believed in God, I believed in Jesus, but that was as far as ever went with me. But I think last year when my son killed himself, um, I was very, uh, I'll be honest, I was very, very angry with God. But then I think because I was in such an hour of need, and even though I had all these people around me, they couldn't answer the questions I needed to be answered. And my son couldn't answer them because he'd already died. And I think that's where I, for the first time in my life, life as far as I'm concerned, I felt the need to go to this God, to talk to him, to tell him what the anger, the pain and everything else. And I think at that moment when I spoke to him, um, I heard a little voice and I told a lot of people about this and they all thought because I was grieving I was off my head. But I heard a little voice say, be at peace Bridie. This experience of fragility and failure is shared by so many. The family is the place where we experience this vulnerability very sharply. Even families in crisis are holy. There is nowhere in this world that is beyond the reach of God's love. What are the challenges that you experience in your family relationships? How do you cope?